and sisters, the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Rome these instructions, welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you. This morning we have the wonderful opportunity to welcome new friends into this community of faith, and as we welcome them, if you are seeking a faith community or if you know someone who is, uh, the next Second Steps opportunity will be on Sunday, May the 19th, uh, with lunch and an afternoon session to follow, and we would love to have you invite either yourself or those known to you who are seeking a community of faith. This morning, just prior to worship, the session of Second Presbyterian Church met for the joyful purpose of receiving new members into the life of our congregation. And at this time, I would like to invite those who have come to join our church this morning to come uh, gather here in the center with me as I call their names. We welcome Carol Baker, Gary Cox, Dee Cramsey, James and Carrie Cruz, John and Victoria Hammond, Victoria is joining this morning in absentia, and John and Victoria also bring their 51-week-old Alice, who will celebrate her first birthday next Sunday. We welcome Corey and Jeff Mendenhall, Shelley Miller-Mesler, Carol and Gary Roth, who also join this morning in absentia, Noella Tiopi, who joins in absentia as well, and Tom Votsberger and Lisa Contino. Friends, you have already made promises of faith before the session this morning. I ask you now to reaffirm those vows in the presence of your new congregation. And will you gratefully receive and acknowledge God's claim on your life, will you? And to the congregation, will we receive these members into the life and ministry of Second Presbyterian Church? Will we welcome them with joy and gratitude? Will we? They said yes. We congratulate you and we welcome you to Second Presbyterian Church. Let us pray. We praise you, O oh God, for these new friends in the faith. Encourage them and all of us in our lives together that filled with your Holy Spirit, we may faithfully serve you and worship you with one heart, mind, and soul. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 